Since I haven't played Doom, much less this WAD in a while, uh, I might be a little rusty. <coughs> yeah, I'm on map 25. Uh, ammo is kind of low, but not on this. Alright. I have a lot of ammo, though. Why is this... Why is there a key literally right here at the start? Interesting... Oh, shit. Interesting start. It's mostly the uh, hit scanners. Honestly, it would be better just using this right now. Super shotgun spread gets a little too far the farther away you go. Oh. I go about getting that. There's a lot of nice, juicy-looking stuff here. Did I ever switch? I did switch to that five, all right. Wait, so was it this game that I switched? Yeah, this it was this game that I switched to that five, because every game that has a quick save, except for Doom for some reason, had, uh... has the quick save on F5, alright. One of the reasons I went for an upgrade was because some of the stuff didn't work on Windows 7, mainly Quakely Rasters, Online Road, and... Yeah, I didn't even know that you were using, still using Windows 7. I haven't played a DVP WAD yet, and I'm hearing they are generally good quality. In terms of Doom stuff, did I mention Pain Slayer? I think you did, I definitely heard about it before... Weren't you even streaming it at one point? I might have, like, lurked in your stream at one point. Someone was playing it. I remember. And I just... <laughs> I hit my mic. Alright, I gotta... I gotta... Sit up. Alright. Played it with Scythe and Colorful Hell. Yeah, that definitely seems like it'd be a good mod to use, uh... With, like, a, uh, a monster randomizer like that. I do want to get back to that eventually. I don't want to... I, I did Scythe already with, uh... What was it? I did Scythe with... Not complex, dude. God, I haven't used it in a while, though, so... I'm not surprised I don't remember the name very well. But I did use it with, like, a mod. Wait, what was it? Uh... God damn, I can't believe I f completely forgot about it. Ah. 
I open that up? Oh. Slaughter map on map 26, so I almost cheated on due to how bad the odds were at the start. <laughs> Back to find map 30, better to deal with. Uh, yeah, the second time I played it, I don't really remember map 26 too much. I remember I could handle map 30 a lot easier because the first time I played Scythe, I did it on UV, and that was a mistake, because I was not nearly as good at Doom as I was the second time around. And also, I was using a... I was using a mod that made things easier, but the, uh... The monster pack that it came with... It was made with it? Now it's bothering me what the name of it was. I still have it. Yeah, I need to... I want to check real quick. What was that? What was that called? I think it began with a C or something. It wasn't Final Doomer and it wasn't Complex Doom, I know that much. Combined Arms, I knew it began with a C. I did Scythe with Combined Arms and I also used its, uh. I used its monster back with it too. So it made the monsters a little bit more difficult. God, I'm almost out of shotgun ammo. Day or so before, I finally got the new PC, tried the new version of Combined Arms that added two new classes, and used the past linked one. Ah. I should go back to that if they did add another class, or if they did add more classes. The, the, the one that I have, I didn't update it yet, only has the two classes. Need to get that yet. Oh. Oh yeah, there's a There's a secret back yet. Might not be a good idea to get it. Dead on and it's like, oh, no, fine. Oh. Oh, okay, that goes up and down on its own. What is Master Levels for Doom 2? Should I get it? You should experience it at least once if you're a fan of Doom. But yeah, it's what Kako said. 
Uh, and I will warn you, there, uh, it's a slight spoiler, but it should be known. There is one level where it's required for you to get a secret. Because there's a yellow key behind it, and you need that to leave the level. Everyone should know that, because that is, that is a big no-no for level design. You never put something that's made for progression behind a secret. That drove me nuts when I actually ran through those. Because I thought I soft locked. But yeah, other than that, like, anyone who's a fan of Doom should at least experience the uh, master levels once. They're also kind of a pain in the ass to get running them. Unless, you know, you're just using, like... Because I think if you're using it on console, they probably have... They probably, uh have, like, a list for them, but it's a little bit trickier to get them running on PC if you're not using, like, an official port or something like that. Not playing those in Pistol Start again, doing it continuous. Yeah, I think I'm gonna steer clear of it myself. Getting low on shotgun ammo again. Come up here. You want to? I don't think they can. Let's see. If they can, they really don't want to. I haven't played it yet. I uh, I played it a little bit during my uh during my time off from streaming. I I, I just wanted to test it out to see how it ran. Um, other than the fact that it's a wee bit too bright, it's uh, a pretty decent. Um, seems like it's a nice remaster. It's also very nice that it's free. At least if you have the PC version. Steam. Did they give that to the Gaga uh, version of Quake as well? Or was it only Steam that they did it for? Yeah, I gotta. I have to play that. I knew that they added a new map pack to it, so I have to play that at some point. I didn't touch that, I just tested out how the main game played for a little bit. I don't think they did. I think it was only for Steam, but I could be wrong. Ow. I told you I was a little rusty. <laughs> Actually, no, I always play like that. Imagine Night Dive is quite a bit busy with the first patch if there's one on its way. Are they actually patching it? Did they ever give any patches to Doom 64? It that was Doom 64 is actually a pretty decent release. I couldn't really think of anything wrong with it off the top of my head. There might have been some crusty stuff here and there, but I didn't really notice anything. Well, at least there's a bunch of new people that know that that exists. It is kind of stupid that they have that, uh... Like, it was great that they put Quake 64 packaged with it. 
as kind of like an add-on for the Quake release, because I never played Quake 64. I just don't know why they have that CRT filter that you can't disable unless it's through the console, so you can't do it on console, you can only do it on PC. It was so unnecessary, I don't know why they did that. Should I have stayed up there? I hope not. Hope I didn't get myself stuck down here. No, I think, yeah, we'll go up here. Max volume is too low? Oh, you mean for Doom 60? I thought you were talking about... <laughs> <coughs> Causing the Quake 64 music to be too quiet, even at max volume. Actually, man, this, uh... That part of the track is really fucking loud. Uh, did I go down here yet? Yeah, I did. Oh, there we go. I got those... I got those friggin' arc files early. Oh, there's another one right here. How do we get this one? Probably from there? Uh, I don't know how to get up there. There's probably something that brings it down. I actually do have a, uh, a Quake 64 music pack for Doom. I think I even used it when I played through... What was it called? Dimension of the Boomed? Which was basically just... It was a 10 map pack that was a homage to Quake, but we played it in Doom. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. I could use that, but I can't get it at the moment. I have to find how to get in there. Oh god, he's not dead. I haven't found any of the secrets yet, but most of the enemies are dead. No, it's not. Oh, there's the big guy, though.
A few cuts and bruises, I'm good. A few shaving cuts. Okay then. <laughs> Did I? Oh, okay, I haven't been up here yet. Lots of ammo, though. Or maybe I ha not here in particular, but I have been up here before. Haven't been up here before. I have to go up there. Right. Ah! Damn it! Maybe I can get up here this way. No, I can't. It's too far away. Exactly one enemy left on the map, and it's probably a lost soul. Uh, I kind of want to see if I can at least get that blue armor, if not the Mega Sphere. I'm just not really sure. How I go about doing that. Might as well put that off. Well, there is this. At the very least, we can take that with us. I wonder. Is it here? I don't know if that wall comes down. I think it does. I think that's just the line. Never hit that? Huh. Okay. How do I get out of here again? It is somewhere that I don't know where it is, but I think I'll figure it out eventually. There we go. There's no teleporter over there. It's better to go this way. Okay, here we are. So what did that do? Did that... That didn't do anything to the Megasphere. I have no idea what that actually accomplished. I didn't bring this down at all. Is there... Nothing, uh, nothing new. Oh, okay, that brings me in here. That's right.
Yeah, I have no idea what that, uh, switch actually accomplished. It's probably something close by. There is a little... I, I just noticed there's a little spot there that I haven't explored yet. And that might be where the Megasphere was, though. No, it's not. Right here? Did I really not go down here? I thought I did. Huh. Oh, alright. Well, I mean, that's at least one of the secrets. That very bottom spot was the start of the level. I know that much. I guess I'll just move on. Uh, I don't want to dwell too long on trying to find the other two secrets. Uh, I usually only like getting the secrets if I feel like it's going to make things easier for the next level. So like, I do kind of want that. But I don't want to waste too much time. So yeah, I think I'm good moving on. And most of my, uh... The rocket launcher um, is almost always low on ammo. Unless they just give me, like, a shit ton of it all at once. Jim Deathlesson. Oh, there, there's Mega Armor literally right there. Perfect. I'm just picking that up now. Fuck it. And then there's another green one there in case I need it. worth it getting that. Because I already have the PNG. Might be worth it. <laughs> I guess I should have expected that. Not worth it. <laughs> up now. You know what? Let's go this way. I deal with these two, these two chuckleheads right here. Ow. intended or not. I guess... Yeah, there's like a very slight indent there. Huh. 
That BFG would be more worth it if uh, I was doing pistol start, otherwise, but you don't really need to bother. It's a neat level layout. Only 48 monsters on this one, though. That's interesting. Hang on. Alright. Ah! Don't do that. Totally expecting this room to fill up. <laughs> I was already up there. Hi. Get that right. Damn, that was a waste. I do end up missing Doom when I uh, don't play it for a while, but I do get burned down on it sometimes. And that's kind of why I have my uh, my setup now. I try and diversify things a little bit so that it doesn't get too old, and at the same time, kind of like keep the theme going with the boomer shooter aspect. But even that, I can kind of get burned down on after a little while. That explains why sometimes I'll just stream. That that's why I've been wanting to do like just stuff that's on like off days where I don't typically stream. And I play variety stuff. It's mostly for me. That I mean, like, just let them go out of there. Punch has the right idea doing the uh, doing the Fallout streams. I can save those. Which I might do Fallout for at some point. I'm not sure if I'll make that a main because that's an RPG. I might do that after Legendary Edition of uh, Mass Effect. Like over there hugging. No, he's down there. I must have gotten hit. Okay, that's why I was hesitant this in the first place. Oh god. Oh god. He's actually coming up here. You know, if he can't come up here. He's too big. Oh. 
I, I need him to come out in the open. Otherwise, this won't work. from him. Oh, God! Oh. I thought he appeared behind me, too. I kind of want to go back for the Soul Spear in the... Yeah, it's just it's the end of the level. I'm going to go back for the Soul Spear in the uh, Mega Armor. There's still another enemy besides him. I don't know where he is. Though. Where is it? How did I get him? Oh, it's right around here. I actually didn't think I had the red key there for a second. Which would be stupid because I did just pick it up. Starhenge. Stonehenge, but in the stars, huh? That's instantly what I thought it looked like the second I came in. I'm glad I'm right. Surprisingly straightforward level. Well, I guess it shouldn't be surprising. Level design's actually been really good in this whole map pack. For the most part. I actually kind of like this better than uh, TNT. You play so much Doom, you should be in a leap. I'm glad that you think that. But there are people that are way better at this game than I am. But I still appreciate the kind words nonetheless. Should get out of here. Oh yeah, there we go. Wait. Hmm. Okay, well there is this right here.
flash flood warning. See where this these uh warnings have been like really weird lately. Like we did actually have a legit tornado warning, like that's why I started the stream a little bit later. Uh but it's weird on my phone, like after the initial one was done, I kept getting them on my phone. But it, I could never actually read the full report, and I think the reason why I was getting them in the first place was because there was tornado warnings in, like, the surrounding counties, but it was moving away from us. Uh, but it wasn't telling me. It wasn't telling me anything. It was just saying tornado warning until this amount of time, but it wasn't saying what counties it was. I wanted to see the full report so that we didn't have the f uh, so I could see whether or not it was in a tornado warning in our area again. <clears throat> and every time it would come up, it would never tell me, but... Uh, I kind of confirmed it from, like, uh, the local weather station that it wasn't. They were just uh, giving warnings for the uh, surrounding counties as it was moving away from us. <clears throat> we never typically get actual tornadoes in this area. But, like, famous last words there. If I don't pay attention to them and take them seriously, the one time that I don't, I guarantee you it's going to actually hit us. But we never... They never really develop and pass through here. We're fortunate in that regard. But this is the most I've ever seen us get tornado warnings out of every, like, hurricane season. Oh, it just brings me here. Alright. about a surprise motherfucker moment. Just came around that corner and he was itchy on that trigger finger. <sighs> Fucking boner. One of these days, I'm gonna find like a good replacement for that, for the Revenant uh, roaming sound. It'll fit the Aubrey Hodge, Aubrey Hodges, Aubrey Hodges sound effect. As always, I can just not speak for the life of me. going back and forth on their merry way while I shoot them. Me. 
That's a neat little uh, quality of life puzzle. Or quality of life get out of puzzle. I don't have any keys yet, though. Probably have to go in where these shotgunners came out of. There's a lot of sh- Okay, I know for a fact I didn't kill half these guys. They all killed themselves. <laughs> oh, shit. There we go. Uh. You know what would be a cool, uh, you know what would be a cool variation on Baron of Hell? Someone's probably thought of it already. You have two that always spawn, but when you kill one, the other gets enraged, and he gets like double damage and double speed. I'm sure someone, someone's thought of it before, though. thing was with Doom RL Arsenal's Bruiser Brothers. Yeah, see? I told you. It's a good idea. It's just not really mine. You survived it, you little shit. Jesus Christ. He was too angry to die. Not nah, my my bad. Mr. Happy was too happy to die. He felt it wasn't his time. Oh, hi, guys. Are they just hanging there the whole time? Oh, no, there's more of them that's gone. Or there could be an arc file back there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's an arc file back there. Oh, no. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I thought there was an arc file back here. It's just that this back part opened. Is that telling me something? I don't think so. In Doom RL Arsenal's case, I think the living one gets far more aggressive. Probably more than just double damage, double speed. Wait, that was a secret? Oh, I killed every enemy on this map. Nice. The red skull is for the exit. Simulation again. Oh, well, that's just cruel. <laughs> That's cruel. Why would you do that? Here I was complimenting them. <laughs> I swear this background music sounds like the Power Rangers theme, or at least part of it. <laughs> I don't like this because I hear 
I hear hit scanners breathing, and these are very narrow corridors. is this? <laughs> I'm sure this would be a lot harder if I pistol start with this, but still, this is goofy. How many enemies was that? It's like almost half of them again. It's like 30, well, 35%, maybe. Mm. I'm running low on armor, though, so I should be a little more cautious. Mind? Dude, there we go. Jeez. Guess maybe this way would be better. Actually, this way was better. same area, just much easier to handle from coming from that direction. shit ton of breathing. Mm. 
Well, there goes my armor. half my health. No, that's a drumstick. Oh god, I'm dead. I, I des- Fuck! I desperately need help. Help. Health. Help. Uh, both apply here. I got a Megasphere though, that's exactly what I needed. <laughs> What's with the chained chicken nuggies though? And there was a drumstick earlier. Was someone just really hungry when they were making sprites? Let's get this first. Ow. What the fuck? Wait. Damn it. Well, so much for the Megasphere. They just spawned in some fucking... 
That's rude. They like literally gave me a mega sphere and then they just pull that stun. Disappointing. I should have saved right after I got that. I mean, I still have armor, but... And there's more right there that I still haven't figured out how to get. It's like, yeah, I go back. This way next. They meant me to lock, get locked in here with him. Didn't exactly work out that well. This is the start of the level, and I don't think there'd be anything else in here, really. Oh. That explains that. Oh, I think I found this last time. Yeah, this goes here. back up. Oh, well that was, that's useful. It gave me some more ammo for all of my weapons. Not much, but some. Just in case I fall in. they give you that at the very end. Okay, then. Mike Root. Map 29. Yes, we'll definitely finish this at the two hour mark. Why was that... I didn't have to do that, but it was cool, so I did it. Maybe that was why they gave me the BFG. about a sense of urgency. This music's a rush. Actually, hold on. I think my mic might be a bit too high. Nah, I can't bring it down anymore because my stream deck's in the way. That sucks. Let's 
get myself closer to it. Bring it over a little. There we go. Oh, this is this is a secret maze. Is there nothing? Why don't you just bring me back here for no reason? Oh wait, here we go. Actually, it's not the best idea to have that equipped because these guys are here. And they just do not stop firing. That tire screech. I probably needed to do that anyway. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. Health is nice, but it's not really what I need. I need armor. Oh my god. These damn flash flood warnings. I, I, I mean, I, I shouldn't be mad. I'm just not driving tonight. I shouldn't be mad. They're useful to people who unfortunately have to be out in it tonight. I didn't even hear the, uh, the chime go off. It probably came over my mic, though. Tire screech. Oh, thank God. 
I think I missed out on something. I actually think I might have missed out on something in there. this one already? some ammo to deal with them. Never mind! <laughs> that works. I have the mega armor, but that'll work too, if I can get to it. I think I have to hit all of them. Yeah. 
Oh, well, I did hit all. Well, not all. Stop that. Stop all my last bun again. I have no idea where that's from. Oh, there we go. I guess it's just to bring it back down. Shit. There might be a tire screech. Well, that was a waste. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. It just sort of happened. Oh, well, we're on the last level anyway. Nucleus. Zero out of zero. Yep, it's an icon of sin level. <laughs> Hi there. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think he's actually in there. Oh god, I'm kind of sucking in here. Okay, this is quite interesting in terms of how I'm actually supposed to handle this. I don't think it's there. Oh, 
got destroyed. I think it's... It was the middle one that brought me up there. Or it might be the top one that I need to go into. The top left one. Oh, it's not open yet, that's why. So, what do I need to do to open it? Head hitbox is actually smaller than what the sprite would show. I can't even see the sprite, but I, I, I think it's covered up by a force field, that's why I'm not hitting it. I'm not really sh like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be looking for a switch, or if there's a certain one that I have to go into. I don't really see color code. And these four pillars in the middle, they don't seem like they do anything. There's soul spheres up there. Maybe I have to enter each one, and it takes the force field down. I don't know. I don't. I don't really know what he expects me to do here. Although, yeah, the rocket launcher did go right through it. I don't think it's shown up. I don't think the Romero has showed up yet. I'm just, I'm not exactly sure what you're supposed to do here. The only thing I can think of, and it's probably the solution, and I just haven't gone into all of them yet, is to just enter each of the blood portals. I don't know which one I've actually gone into yet, though. That's why he left you all the Mega Spheres here, because he knows it's going to take a while for someone to figure out. Okay, see, there's there's nothing that I can do with, the, with these four pillars in the middle. This is why I'm not- I'm never really a fan of Icon of Sin, even when they, like... Even when they try and do, like, unique spin- twists to it, like this. I can admire them for trying. I can admire them for trying, it's just... These are never fun. There's some that come pretty close, though. The, um... The last one I played, I think it was Unnecessary. It had a very interesting twist on the Icon of Sin Maybe I should start at the top and work my way down. Maybe. Hold on. 
Maybe it's <coughs> way more simple than I give it credit for. I could be wrong. I think it's what I origin what I originally thought. But I'm gonna test the theory. I'm gonna go into the topmost one and just kinda see if uh This one on the bottom most one. Now. So this one's next. Now go for this one next. If this isn't it, I, I have no clue. Did I go into that? I think I went into that one. Actually, maybe not. I just can't keep track of what I... Wait, 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 wait. I, I kind of saw something. I think I have to go into the topmost one now, because it seems like it's out farther. So I might be able to get it from under it. The topmost one brings me to the most inner circle of it. So let's see if that actually works. But that's this one, right? Yeah. No, that's not it. I think I got them all too, didn't I? Maybe not maybe not this one over here. Unless. Maybe I have to get the four soul spheres. I'll try that. Let's see if I'm supposed to either get the four soul spheres or get on the platforms. I'll try that one next. I just can't fathom the thought of anyone outright banning the Icon of Sin. For mapping forever. I've seen people not even do Icon of Sin. They'll like just do a boss rush. Or not boss rush, but they'll do a... Uh, They'll just do like a slaughter map or something like that. Fucking damn it. I 
I've only gotten one of them so far. Let's try this one since they're all on the other side. I have a feeling this is it. I have to get the four soul spheres, because they have the same force field that the uh, that the middle does. So I feel like they're related. Either that or I just have to get on the platforms, but I feel like the soul spheres might come into play. actually would not be nearly as overbearing if it weren't for the pain elementals. Mm. Fuck! I knew I took that to the wrong angle. Oh my god, there's just so many lost souls. I'm joking. <laughs> I keep spelling it wrong, don't I? I just want to see if my theory is right. It's not right. Well, let me go in the middle and see if I can do something. I, uh, I'm completely stumped now. I, I have no clue what to do. I think GZ Doom probably has it off by default. Alright, I, I have to look this up. I, I am completely stumped. This guy does it in a minute. Let's see, what does he do? So, I think I was right, and I'm probably missing one. Wait, what's he doing here? that simple? It really is that simple. You literally just have to go through one of those. So it has nothing to do with the center right there. The nucleus. It's a red herring. 
Honestly, I would have never guessed that because uh, I didn't think that that was that I had to do with anything. He went through this one in particular. Although for some reason, why isn't it open this time around? Yeah, it's not open this time around for some reason. But that was the only portal that he went through. Maybe it was... It's one of them, I think. Maybe it's the green one at the very top. And I wasn't looking in the right... It might be, actually. Yeah, it's it was that one I was immediately at the top. And it always stays open too. Was way more simple than I thought it was. And that's Icarus Alien Vanguard.